Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. Hey guys, Science here, and as I said in uh, my last couple of videos, it's time for my LUI tutorial. This is my uh, basic unit frames slash UI in general add-on that I use. You can see it's all this stuff around the uh, side of my screen here, as well as my mini map, my chat frame, and of course uh, unit frames. Uh, this also does include party, but I'm not in one, so I have some footage from the last time I tried to do this that I'll show for that. Uh, now this is going to be a very lengthy lengthy explanation, so unfortunately I'm going to have to split this into several videos, but today I'm going to focus on unit frames so you can get your uh, UI going ahead and looking uh, a lot like mine. Yes, there is a mysterious body that looks like it would be a male human on my farm. I don't know how it got there, but just don't ask too many questions. Now for the first video, I really want to focus on unit frames, so you can go ahead and get your uh, interface looking quite fancy if you want to uh, make it exactly like mine. I'll give you all the statistics for that, all of the uh, numerical values that you need. But starting off, let's go and do just general unit frames right here. Um, now you can see here it's got a few options, such as cast bars and then connectors. The connectors are just um, these things right here. It just connects one frame to the other in some cosmetic ways, and I kind of like them, but if you don't, all you gotta do is click that and disable them. You can also disable them for individual things, such as party frames or inner frames and your boss frames. And there's also the choice to just completely disable cast bars. Now this literally covers every cast bar within the UI, including your uh, yourself, your target, your focus, and your party. Um, now you can also mess with these in the individual settings, so you do not have to disable this if you just want one disabled. But there you go. For the basics, if you want to move any of your unit frames around, there's one really easy way to do this, which is just to uh, go back into your general unit frame settings and click move unit frames. This allows you to pick any single one of your frames that you want to move as a whole, party, player, target, your cast bars, pretty much everything. Um, if you want to move it as a whole, you can just pull it up and you can drag it wherever you want it. Once you're done, all you have to do is click save and there you go. But if you want to get more precise, just go into your actual site. Uh, settings here. Each and every one of your uh, frames is going to have an individual setting. But let's start off with the main one, which is going to be the player tab. Now, of course, the general settings are just in fact general settings, and this will mess with things such as location and size. Um, now, the X and Y value, again, that's just your location, and the height and width is going to mess with the actual size of this frame. By default, it's not going to have a portrait on it, so you'll have to mess with that if you want to include your portrait. Um, now, to do it the way I did it, which is to have it within the frame itself as kind of its own section, um, if you want to do it exactly like I did, you're going to need to increase your height to 82, which by default is going to be 43. The width, I didn't mess with. All right, so once you do that, once you increase your height, you're going to have to move your bars around. They're not going to move by default. They're still going to be up here where they originally were. So what you're going to have to do is mess with the Y value. By default, it's zero. Now to get it where I have it, you just need to move it to negative 41. But again, if you want to do your own settings, just mess with the X and Y value. Um, X again, I'll move it left and right. Y will move it up and down. And of course, the height and the width, I didn't really mess with, but you can if you want to. That's just going to, height is going to make it thinner and width is going to make it longer. Um, now, again, you'll have to go over to your power tab, do the same thing, and move it so that it's not in the way of where you're putting your 3D portrait. I put mine to negative 72. That'll put it right below your health bar for you if you're doing it the exact way that I did. Um, I do have my power bar relatively slim. I don't think it really needs to be any bigger than that, but if you do want to change it, all you have to do is increase the height and move it to wherever you want it. Um, now, one thing you can do if you want to uh, actually have percentages, whereas I only have numerical values here, you have to go over to your texts and you're going to have to mess with your health and power percent. Um, now health percent isn't going to go down until you lose some health, neither is your power percent. Um, it's not going to go until you, you lose some mana. Now by default, these are obviously not going to be in these locations as I have moved my health and power bars. And another thing you need to know is your power percent font size is going to be way off. It's not going to fit nice and neat where it is. Um, now normally I don't use power percent, but I haven't enabled for this demonstration. So uh, if you want to match my settings and you want to use health percent, I don't think I moved this one at all. I thought it looked kind of cool above the health bar because it'll appear like right here. But if you want to move it down, all you have to do is adjust your Y and it'll already be centered as long as you don't mess with the X value. Now for the power percent, however, you're going to have to move it down uh, to get it to your, your bar because by default it's going to be at negative 15 which at this point is going to uh, put it in your health bar so just adjust that number to negative 35 and to make it nice and small so it fits right there in your mana bar you're going to have to change your font size to 9 because by default it's going to be 14. 
Um, now, there's a bunch of other tabs here um, that I don't enable, like missing power. I don't want to make my screen too cluttered, so um, if you want to mess with that, it's, it's, this is what this is going to be. Show you how much that you're missing, of course, and you'll want to readjust that so it's with your power. Same thing with your health. If you want that showing, then you might want to put it down on your health tab. Again, I don't like my thing too cluttered, so I, I don't use it. Now your cast bar is just going to be this right here. Um, again, you can move that around if you want to. If you don't want the icon showing, all you have to do is come down here and click show icon so it won't show the spell icon. And of course the latency option, uh, which is showing you know effect, how the latency is going to affect your casting, is going to be uh, this little darker gray section here. You can mess with that if you want to, or you can disable it. It's up to you. Now the textures, of course, are just going to mess with the appearance of it. The background texture is going to be this light gray area um, that the cast bar has yet to get to, whereas the texture is going to be the main cast bar right here, the part that's actually filled up. Uh, you can mess with those as purely cosmetic, and then of course fonts and whatnot, fonts and font sizes you can mess with in this tab. Um, now auras are going to be buffs and debuffs, and I don't like mine showing on my frame because you already get them at the top left, but if you want to enable them, it's going to be right here. Now by default, your buffs aren't going to be aligned over here. Um, by default, they're going to be behind these numerical values. So let me set it up like it is by default. Um, see, you, you can't see your buffs. But the problem with this uh, aura frames is that if you are using the numerical values and you're showing it below your frame rather than in your frame, uh, these buffs are, if you get too many buffs, it'll go behind it. Same thing with the buffs, it'll go behind. So. <clears throat> if you want to mess with that first, you'll need to mess with that. Like the really, a really easy way to get it over here, um, so it's not behind your numer numerical values, is to just change the growth in the anchor. Um, now all you gotta do is anchor it to the bottom left, and then of course you see, so going out this way, all you have to do is change your growth right, so then all new buffs go this way. Um, again, I don't use buffs though, or debuffs um, on that frame because I've already got them up here, I don't need them down here. Now, here's the portrait. Um, again, all it is is a 3D portrait there. Again, it's fully co cosmetic. It has an actual applicable use. But if you want it, you'll have to enable it. By default, it's going to be over here and taking up the full frame. Um, so if you want to do the default, I held my uh, number pad here was turned on. This is what it's going to look like. Whoops, not 430, <laughs> 43. All right. So by default, this is what it's going to look like, um, and that will fit in the original frame size. So if you haven't messed with anything so far, that's going to perfectly fill your frame um, on this, this side over here. It's not going to stretch across like mine does, but the problem is, is that's going to be in front of your health and your mana. So what you have to do is adjust that um, accordingly. That's why I made extra space for it above the bars rather than, uh, you know, leaving it kind of squared off to the side because if you if you do want to fill this section out that's fine all you have to do is adjust the height to uh to match whatever you've done we've done 82 so you change it to 82 and there you go the problem is that as, as your health bar goes down it's going to get behind your frame you're not going to see exactly how much uh, you have in ratio so i don't like doing that uh, so let me go ahead and put these back to my settings and move on all right that, for the most part, I think covers it for the player tab. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you really need help with, just let me know. Um, now, as far as the bars go, we covered health and power. I didn't really look at this other stuff. Hill prediction, if you're missing health, it'll give you kind of a lighter green background to show how much you're, you're about to get healed if you're getting hills. Um, alternate power, if you want to, uh, to mess with this at all, it doesn't really do much from what I've seen um, because it, it tends to automatically detect your alternate power for a priest of shadow orb so it kind of gives you a tab same thing on a monk it should give you a chi tab but if it doesn't i assume this is probably what this does i haven't had to mess with it like i said because i get this extra tab for shadow orbs and on my monk i've got one for chi so yeah let's move on to the target which of course is going to be this right here now what i've done is of course i've got the matching portrait um and my bars are still the same as far as the settings go so real quick, we'll go over it in general. I've set my height to 82, width is the same, bars. Um, health is gonna be moved down to negative 41 on the Y value, and the power is going to be uh, moved to negative 72. Um, this is just to match my interface. Uh, so those are the only things you really have to mess with. Then come over here to portrait, enable it, increase the width and decrease the, uh, the height to get it to match up to what I have here, which is 250 on width and 40 on height, and you'll have it looking Nice and spiffy. Now, 
I just noticed my health bars are showing white on the target because I do like my health bars on the target to match the class. It's just a really easy way to instantly identify somebody's class, which normally isn't hard anyways, but still. Um, if you want to change that, all you have to do is go to the bars, select uh, health, and then see I've got it by class. Now you can change it to gradient, which is just uh, going to be like this. Um, or you can do individual and you can change the health bar color manually. Now, you can do the same thing with power. Um, right now it's set for type, so if it's mana it'll be blue, if it's energy it'll be yellow, if it's rage it'll be red, etc, etc. And you can change that as well if you want to. You can also change the texture so that they have a different kind of shine to them. Um, <clears throat> Now the cast bar is going to be the top one here. It will be behind these numerical values. So if you want to change that, that's something you can do, but I didn't really mess with it. I think it's fine there. I can still see what they're casting, um, how much, you know, how fast the cast is going to be. And that's all I really need it for is uh, to see what they're casting. So mine already gives me enough information as is, and I don't really need to move it so it's not behind those numerical values. I don't want it, my cast bars move too far down. One, because I like them to be very centered so I can see them more easily, and I don't want them to intrude on my uh, action bars. So that's something you can mess with if you want to. Again, uh, the Y value is just going to move it up and down and the X will move it left and right. So you can adjust that how you want to. Uh, move on to the target of target here. You can see that mine has a 3D portrait behind it. That's about all I've really messed with, but we'll cover some other things. If you do want the portrait, just go ahead and enable that. And of course, you'll have to match the height and width to, uh, to the bar. Now, if you look at the bar, or for that matter just go to general you can see the height is 24 and the width is, is 200. All you really have to do is kind of match that but um, matching the height kind of makes it clip a little I think like it, you can see some of the shadow from the bottom of the bar like I kind of like to have this nice outline to it so I do make my height a little less um, just so I do have you know more of an outline around it so if you want to copy my settings you're going to change your width to 200 to match the length of the bar and then your, your height to 23 so that you do still have kind of an outline um, whereas the base height is going to be 24. All right now if you want to have your target of target um, buffs and debuffs enabled all you have to do is uh, come over here to the ORS tab and enable or disable those. Um, I don't really need them for PvP. I don't really think there's anything necessary, necessary there because most of uh, the major debuffs and stuff, like if I'm playing against the other players, you know, I'll have something over here on my grid tell me if I need to dispel somebody or whatnot. But if you're in a raid, um, for example, and you know you're a tank and you're doing a tank swap because of some kind of stacking debuff, now a really easy way to see that is to have this enabled. Um, now, unfortunately, by default, the debuffs are going to be in a very weird location, and there's no really real easy way to change it because the anchor on this is, is very strange. Um, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to mess with the, uh, the actual X and Y value to get it placed under it if that's where you want it. If you're fine where, you know, having it where it's at, then just leave it there. That's fine. But um, if you do want to use that and you want to locate it so it's like below the frame or something, you're going to have to mess with your X and Y value and you're also going to want to change your growth. Uh, like if you want to anchor it here or if you want to move it down so it starts here, you're going to want to change your growth right on your X so that every additional debuff goes this way and you're going to want to change your Y growth to down so that it doesn't grow up into your frame. Um, that's all you really have to do for that. Um, now again, I don't th really think buffs are necessary. But again, that's just something you can mess with if you want to. Just bear in mind that if you do enable buffs, they are going to be by default above this. Um, so if you do want to separate buffs and debuffs, so your debuffs are below, you'll have to move them around with your X and Y value to get it placed here. And you're just going to have to play with numbers um, to get it exactly where you want it. Now, the portraits, um, we already covered the auras, text, again, this is just going to be health values and stuff. I don't really have much showing there. Um, now I do have health percent, so as I start to lose percent, it will show up in that frame. But I don't have power or anything showing. That's just stuff that you can do if you want to. Um, I don't really think that my target of target really needs to be too elaborate. I just kind of like to be able to see who they're targeting. Um, now the focus, again, I don't have too much going on here. Um, and if you want to, you can enable even more. You can enable a target of target of targets, which is going to put it up here by default. Uh, you'll probably want to move that somewhere more kosher, but uh, again, I don't really need a target of target of targets. So let's just go ahead and move on to the focus menu, which of course uh, is this right here. I did change my X and Y value of, the, of both the uh, target and the focus, um, as you can see. Now, going back to target of targets, 
Uh, let's just go to the general so you can have my settings real quick. The X value is the same because it's going to be centered right here. All I did was drop it down to negative 325 instead of 250. Now in the focus, you're going to do the same thing. Uh, you're just going to come down here to the general sections. You're not going to mess with the X value and you're going to change your Y value to three, negative 325 um, instead of negative 250. Uh, now back on focus, um, I didn't mess with much. I don't need aura showing on my focus. Um, if you do want to, again, it's just something you're going to have to mess with, so this one by default will be down here, which is better um, than what's over here, but if you want to be able to, sh to see like how long your silence is going to last on your focus or something, then I would recommend uh, enabling the debuffs so you can do that. Um, now, you, by default, they're not going to have a cast bar, but I do like to be able to see what my focus is casting in the event that I'm actually using a focus. Um, so all you have to do is come in here and enable that and the icon again is something that you can choose to show or not to show. Uh, again, I like to have it just because it's really easy to look at the icon and tell what they're casting. But uh, again with the portrait, if you want to match what this is going to do, you're going to want to change your width to 200 and your height to 223. And I think for the most part this covers it and I'll go ahead and jump to the footage I did of the party stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and jump to that. Alright, now as you can see I have a party here which I've actually been meaning to re-customize. Anyways, so, let's pull up your LUI, go back to your unit frames here, and we're gonna mess with the party. Now, pretty much everything here is attached together, like the entire group will work as one. You can disable this if you want, um, or you can even, even enable the Blizzard party frames if that's what you wanna do. I hate the, the default Blizzard UI at the very core of its being, so, Let's go ahead and get this situated exactly where I want it. Now, again, you can just mess with the straight-up scale if you want to. <clears throat> I think I'm actually going to reduce mine to 9.9 .9 here. But the height and default, or the height and width, I have not messed with at all. One thing you can do is you can enable portraits if you want to, but I can't actually see the people, so there's going to be big question marks for the time being. I will mess with that later. But again, once you do that, you're just going to want to resize it to match the bar however you like. Um, personally, I just want it to match the health bar. I don't want it to fall into their power, but I'll do that later. So, <clears throat> just to move it around, that's all we really have to do is mess with the X and the Y setting. Now, X is fine to me, but I do want to mess with the Y a little bit just to get it below this thing here, even though I don't even need this thing because I have a handy dandy one with my LUI. This just needs to be lowered a little bit more. No, not what I meant to do. And there we go, that'll work just fine for me. <clears throat> now it does also have their pets included, which will be a little bit off center from them. That's fine for me, but there you go, there's your party options. Now, when I'm in a raid, it will not show my party. Um, so most time in Battlegrounds, you don't even see this, or all the time in Battlegrounds, you won't even see this. Alright guys, now hopefully this has been helpful and informative. I know seeing as this is a more informative type video that it probably was not so much on the entertainment factor, but uh, you know, what can you do? And I know I haven't covered everything in LUI. Next time I will show you how to tie your additional add-ons into LUI as I have here with my grid and my SCADA. Um, it is probably not quite as lengthy as an explanation as this one but i'll have that one up for you guys soon so stay tuned check back and if you haven't already subscribe for updates on those new videos i'm also going to uh, be releasing you know of course more pvp f footage that i do and uh other things as well so make sure you check back you can follow me on twitter and facebook i'll provide the links in the end of the video here as well as links to uh you know previous videos so go ahead and check all this stuff out and Thanks for watching. If you guys did find this helpful and useful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And, um, you know, tell your friends about, like, all of my footage and get some more people, you know, come to the channel. I'd really appreciate the extra traffic and the word of mouth. Uh, and it helps out a ton. You have no idea. But uh, until next time, and as always, Excelsior and Alonzi. Now I'm going to take a bath in my farm. Splish, splash, I'm taking a bath. Taking a bath in my farm. Woo! 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 Oh, oh yeah. I, this, this, is this drinking water? Yoon? Yoon, is this drinking water? Oh my god, did I just swim around in our drinking water? Yoon?
Tell me something, man. Tell me.